Welcome back to the Flutter and Firebase series. In this video, we will implement user sign-up and login using email and password. In the previous video, we set up our Flutter app for Firebase. If you have not watched it, you can watch it by clicking on the i button above. So let's get started. First of all, add the Firebase core and Firebase auth dependencies inside your pubspec.yaml file. Then let's quickly implement a login screen with two text fields and a login button. On pressing the login button, we will call the login function. But before implementing login functionality, we first need to initialize the Firebase app. Then by using the Firebase auth instance, we will have to call the sign in with email and password function which accepts the user email and password. Before performing the login, we will check if the email is not empty and the password length is greater than 6. The password must be greater than or equal to 6 otherwise Firebase will throw error on logging in and signing up. Before testing the login, make sure to pass the email and password text editing controller to their relevant text fields. Now let's try to log in. We got a Firebase app not initialized exception, stop the app and rerun it to properly initialize the app. And again try to log in. This time we got another exception which is an operation not allowed. This is because we will have to enable the email and password authentication on Firebase. Open your Firebase console and under build, open the authentication tab and enable the email password authentication. Again try to log in. This is the user not found exception. This is because this user does not exist in Firebase since we did not sign up the user. Let's quickly create another button at the bottom to sign up the user. On pressing this button, we will call create user with email and password to sign up the user. Enter the email and password and click the sign up button. In the console we got user created message and on clicking the login button we get the login message. Now we have to move to the home screen, but we will do it automatically. This means when the user opens the app we will check if a user is already login or not. If so, we will send the user directly to the home screen otherwise we will send him to the login screen. So let's create a simple home screen that will simply show a message at the center. Now in the main.dart file, instead of returning the login screen, we will use stream builder to listen for the user authentication state. We will listen to the auth state changes stream which will return a nullable user. Inside the builder callback, we will check if the snapshot has data and that data which is of course a user is not null which means the user is already signed in. So we will return the home screen. Also if the connection state of the snapshot is waiting that means the app is checking if a user is logged in or not. In that case, we will return a loading indicator. If both of these cases get rejected, that means the connection is not waiting and the user is not logged in so we will send the user to the login screen. Before testing our final version, let's first add a logout button at the home screen to log the user out of the app. Now restart the app and log in. The user will automatically send to the home screen as soon as it successfully log in. And same for the logout which will send the user back to the login screen. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.